I don't know what's worse. <laughs> well, this stuff's yellow. It's not like the regular red black stuff. <laughs> smells better if it's yellow. <laughs> How long will it take to uh, to take apart the entire carcass? Uh, I think we're talking about maybe three or four days. It's not the same number as us, but we don't have the common. Do you have a tail? No. Not much of one, really. Are you seeing any broken bones or any... Yeah, there's uh, quite a few broken bones. This process right here is broken. Uh, working on it. So do you think that that would show signs that it was crushed in the ice? We don't know. Uh, well, it's really hard to tell whether it was. Uh, yeah, there was. There's some broken. There's some damage that occurred to it. Whether that occurred in the ice or, but because we're rolling on the rocks too. Uh, but the uh, the other. But we can't tell if this. Uh, if that's how they died or not. Okay. Because it looks like it could be post post mortem. So it occurred after they died. So how many times yesterday did you say, or the day before, we're going to need a bigger boat? <laughs> <laughs> I did say we're going to need a bigger knife. <laughs> <laughs> I would say. Well, actually, that did happen. That we had to, they had to change boats a couple times to make sure we had a big enough one to tow it. Yeah. Dr. Engstrom, is it okay if I ask you a few more questions as you're cutting the future oh, flesh? Oh, I'm sorry? Oh, I'm just going to continue yeah. to ask you one more question. Sure. Uh, will you take all the flesh uh, back to Ontario? Oh, no, no. The flesh is going into a dump. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're putting it in the landfill, uh, and then we'll cover it. with We we we'll put a bed of lime in, and we'll cover it, with, cover it, and then it'll cover it over, and then it'll be buried. And will you learn a lot from from uh, the end result of this? Oh well, we well we will. Well, I mean, will we'll, we'll get an idea. We'll get, we'll have some more information about what might have, uh, about the mortality of the animal. Uh, but we're we're preserving a lot of tissue for DNA analysis. Then when we get back, uh, and for and for other kinds of things, we're saving baleen for uh, a diet analysis. Almost down. And we're uh, and then we'll obviously we'll have the the skeleton one once we get it cleaned. Uh, for a study of the anatomy. So there's there's a lot of information that will come from this well from now from now and as long as it sits in our collection and which will be forever. And uh, as long as we retain the as long as we have tissue samples and we're taking many, uh, it'll be available for anybody any researchers around the world to, to examine. So uh, for for the current studies that we're doing and any future studies that anybody wants to do with DNA and so on, we'll have all these samples, which which are uh, very hard to come by for blue whales. Are all the people here helping out? Are they all with the uh, the ROM, or are they also? No, no. There's only there's about three of us from the ROM. There's several people from Research Casting International that are here, and then uh, we've hired several local people to help us as well. Great. Thank you very much. You're welcome.